All right, so this next one is quite interesting because it talks about items can be looked up from the index. We already got array, but this next one is they need to be unique. And this is where I originally got frustrated. I wish there was a way that I could spend a lot more time maybe extending proxy class and then have an array copy internally, but then maybe have a set to help you know deal with duplicates. And you do have time. <laughs> That's in the refactoring step. But for this video, we're just going to show you how it's really interesting where from an object oriented perspective, when you do TDD, you'll start having that public API consuming it and you might be changing that implementation and using, you know, privates and hiding and abstractions that make the functionality work without actually exposing or modifying that API. When I add something, it's not allowing duplicates. The way we can test that originally is just say, let's copy pasta and we'll say when you add two items that are the same, it only keeps one. Another way of saying it is it would keep dupes. So we're gonna do this and then test the length. We're gonna say array.length two equal two, in this case one. And it should fail immediately because it's adding both of those items. This is a really good way of doing TDD at this point where you already have an API, you're just changing the functionality. So you immediately see the happy path not being met rather than like a method isn't implemented. All right, so in our life OQ, we need to prevent items from being added already. So before we add this, we're gonna check for duplicates. So we're gonna say if this includes the item, if it's there to Boolean, true or false, then we gotta remove it. So we're gonna use the splice functionality and splice by default will take one item that you're gonna delete, but it wants to know where, like where are you deleting it? Well, we've confirmed it's in there and the includes method. So we're gonna go this dot index of whatever the index of the item is. We hit save and you can see it's passing, fantastic. Let's do one more. Let's do one more test that adds a bunch of items that are not homogeneous and we'll just make sure we can add a bunch of dudes in there. So we'll say when you add three items that are mixed, but two are the same, length is two. And so we'll just say add uno, add dos, and it should equal two. We'll hit save, five is passing, fantastic. Change to one, just make sure it breaks, fantastic. We got a really good public API here with two. We've implemented a new requirement. Let's do the refactor step and make this a little bit more object oriented in that we abstract this into a, a method that does one thing and one thing well. So we're gonna use a private method here called remove and it's private only for the internal use of the class. And we'll copy pasta the implementation. But in this case, we'll call the private method this.remove item. Whoa, careful code hint item. And there you go. So we can refactor it. We can make the code better. The test is still passing. So we're still staying green. So that's how you can refactor with confidence using TDD.